Hello and welcome to another episode of Toby Investigates. In this episode, I'm going to be looking into one of the most mythical cycling garments ever created. Yes, it is the Castelli Gabba. So the Castelli Gabba, you may have heard that name thrown around a little bit, and that is because it is, like I said, almost of mythical status. Now it seemed like overnight every single pro was going against their sponsor's clothing and picking up a Castelli Gabba for foul weather conditions. It is, after all, designed to be water resistant, windproof, super warm and aerodynamic, everything professional needs. Now thankfully, Castelli were good enough to open it up to the general public, of course, and you too can own one for all of its magical, mythical benefits. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the features that set this apart from any other jersey out there on the market. So to start off, let's look at the fabric that this jersey is made out of. Now, the key to the Castelli Gabba is that it's windproof, it's not waterproof, but extremely water resistant, and it's breathable, and way more breathable than any of its competitors on the market, or so seems the general consensus. The material is kind of like thin neoprene, it's a lot thinner than you'd expect, but the front here has wind stopper, uh, fabric in it which does exactly what it says on the tin. It stops the wind coming through giving you the wind chill which is extremely important when you are cutting through the wind on a bike. Now the fabric is treated with a hydrophobic solution which will mean that water just runs off. Now in very very heavy rain conditions it isn't waterproof but because of the warmth of the jersey even if you are getting wet underneath this will keep you warm, especially if you've got a base layer appropriately chosen underneath. It actually looks like a lot of other jerseys out there. There's nothing special to it at first glance. However, the cut is slightly different. We've got longer arms here to make sure you're getting the arm coverage you need in order to keep you warm when it's foul weather conditions. We've also got an elongated neck which comes further up and stops in the air going down into your body and cooling you down. The other really cool feature of this is this rear tail flap here. Now this can be tucked away in the daytime when you don't need it so it looks more like a regular jersey. However, when it's raining, perhaps your mud guard isn't doing enough to protect your back from the spray, this can be used to pull down over your bum a bit further and just give you a bit more protection. It's also got reflective detailing right on the bottom so when the light starts to fade, you're still visible. That reflective detailing is carried on along the pockets meaning that even if you were to get this in black, that reflective detailing is still there and it's still very, very visible. Now you notice in the bottom of the pockets, we've got this mesh here, which is also up on the neckline to wick sweat. But in this case, it's so that the pockets can drain. Very important on a jersey that you're going to be wearing in the rain that you know, you're not collecting water in your pockets and soaking everything that you've got in there through. Moving back around to the front, you notice we've got these two zips on the front which look like pockets. They're not. If you open them up, you get to this mesh that we just saw on the pockets on the back. Uh, and this is for extra cooling. Say you are wearing this and it's starting to warm up and you need a bit more ventilation. Instead of opening the front of your jersey and really letting everything in, these pockets, well, these openings will allow the air to come in and it actually goes round your back, not round your front, which is quite nice um, when you're starting to warm up. Now overall, the fit it is designed to be racy. It's made by an Italian brand after all, so it's gonna be on the small side. It's quite close fitting, it's aerodynamic, which is actually quite nice because a lot of the time I'm used to riding in wet conditions where I've got, you know, rain max and soft shells flapping about in the wind and it's just a bit, you know, soul destroying knowing that all of those watch you're putting out are gonna be wasted with all that flapping. The Castelli fits like an aero cut jersey. Um, and gets rid of any of that flappiness, basically. So the Castelli Gabba, in summary, it is the perfect jersey for when the weather starts turning, we're going into winter, there might be a bit of wind, rain, and the temperature starts dropping. You can be comfortable in this jersey anywhere from zero degrees all the way up to probably like 17 or 18, depending on what layering you have underneath. Obviously stacking up the base layers, you're gonna be a lot warmer. Anyway, if you guys have experiences of the Castelli Gabba, I would love you to leave them in the comments below because I'm sure there are a lot of great rescue stories out there. And if you've never tried one, I implore you to head into store, try one on, see what you think. Thank you very much for watching. That was the Costelli Gabba. Until next time, enjoy the ride. <laughs>